Come here, okay. Georgia. Come on. Come on, Georgia. Come on. I want to take a video of you, Georgia. Look at you. Will you say good morning? Say good morning. Now you're going to be quiet. Now you're not going to say anything, Georgia? Really? Come here, get in your bed. Here's your bed. You don't want to be on the camera? You don't want to do social media? <laughs> I got it good, though. Okay. You look beautiful, Georgia. Thank you. Georgia on my mind. Yes. Georgia is on my mind. Hello, Miss Golden Girl here. As you can see, Georgia wasn't cooperating with me for the interview. But her mother, my friend Regina, <laughs> did a much better job in cooperating than Georgia. <laughs> Maybe Georgia was mad at me because um, I wouldn't let her jump up in my lap. So she said, payback, payback. <laughs> but hey, that's Georgia. That is my friend Regina's little toy poodle. <laughs> A shih tzu. <laughs> I had asked Regina how she was able to come in here so quickly and know what she wanted to do to her condo. And I was just asking her to explain to me how she knew right away and she got it done. I mean, like sometimes it can be overwhelming to get repairs, to get updates done. So you were saying, Regina, how you went about it? Well, when I looked at the kind of, you know, when you don't have a lot of time, when you're looking and making decisions whether or not this is a place that you'd like to purchase and you want to make an offer. Well, the bathroom, of course, was okay, but I knew a couple of things that needed to be done immediately. One thing was the toilet. It was one of those really low toilets, and I had to get one that's a little bit more accommodating to my needs and to maybe other guests. When I finally got the place, and then, of course, walked through and the shower curtain was pulled when I was looking at it prior to purchasing. And I came in and I pulled the shower curtain back and I was just so upset to how that, at the, my, my guest bathroom was in such bad condition. And there was no way I could, would allow any guest of mine to come in and use that bathroom. So um, I knew of a contractor and I, uh, Fortunately, it was available once I got in and began to get settled. And I uh, called him and he came in and he just told me, got at the bathroom. It took a little time because of, you know, family issues and concerns, but he came in and he completed the bathroom. How long did it take, Regina? Well, actually, it took a little bit longer. He did the gutting the day after Thanksgiving and it was just this past Saturday that we did the final sign off. He received his final payment. I am pleased with what he did. Uh, I did pick out the, with the help of you know, family and friends, pick out you know the fixtures that I wanted in the bathroom. I wanted to lighten it up. I wanted to kind of blend in what was already have been done here in the condo. So, uh, and I asked his opinion because he has done renovations in the past. So uh, I am very pleased. I am very pleased with the uh, choices I made. I'm very pleased with the how light it is. And still gotta do a couple more things. Uh, I have to, uh, my light fixture, I have a bulb missing, but I'm gonna replace all the bulbs in. And then get my little uh, extras, get my towels in, and add a couple of things, you know, to make it very, very comfortable, very welcoming, and uh, pleasing to, for myself, therefore, hopefully it will be pleasing when my guests come. Well, let me just chime in and say, as your first guest, Regina and I met at college at Michigan State. We roomed together for a while. Um, I'm very pleased with it. Very, very pleased. And thank you very much for allowing me to stay overnight. <laughs> Regina just had her guest bathroom redone. HGTV. 
Look at this beautiful mirror. I can't do it justice. The light fixtures. Look at her faucet. Ooh, don't let anyone dull your sparkle. Ooh. Gina was always real good about home improvements. <laughs> she just jumped right in here and got this done. Hey. Now the question and discussion Regina and I was just having is, you know, how we're going to define our 70s. Um, for me, I was sharing with Regina that I, I don't know about 70s. I interacted growing up with people that was in their 60s. But during that time, the lifespan wasn't as long. And now we're living longer. So I am defining my 70s as I go. So being 70 and seven months, <laughs> here I am interviewing my, my college friend and asking her these questions. And she was sharing with me, she wants to take up an instrument. Go ahead, Regina, chime right in and tell us what instrument you want to play. Okay, well, um, I have a grandson that uh, played the flute in middle school. He is now ninth grade, and he wasn't interested in continuing his music career or music journey uh, in high school. So uh, I took, I bought the flute, so I took the flute. So I thought about in terms of what can I do to keep me moving, keep me going, uh, new experiences. Uh, I haven't gotten into the traveling uh, sector yet, but I decided that let, let me try something new. So let's try something new as I contacted a music school in the area and, uh, and let them know what my interest was. And they said, sure, contact us. We do give private lessons and, you know, we will, you know, have you come in and see, you know, if this is something that, you know, you may, could do and maybe want to continue to do. So that's one of the things that I plan on doing uh, within the next few months or so. I'm still trying to get myself settled. But uh, another thing that I do is I uh, go to, I'm so happy that uh, I have my silver sneakers. And so I go to the Y in the area and two days a week. In fact, today is one of my days on Tuesdays and Thursdays. And I uh, participate in a 45 minute silver sneakers uh, exercise group. And uh, I met a lot of really nice people. And I look forward to going to it. Uh, and again, it's something that's going to keep me moving, keep me going. Uh, I also get regular emails from uh, Wayne State Institute of Gerontology, and they have so many different activities, uh, webinars, uh, things that for seniors in terms of, you know, life challenges, in terms of, you know, activities, be aware, are you concerned? So this is how I am going to into or beginning my my 70s and as Nita and I had dinner last night and we were talking about as life goes on I says I'm looking forward to two more decades <laughs> and if I can you know keep myself going keep my mind busy and active I, I just may make it but I am not going to stop and I'd like to chime in and say Regina is definitely embracing her golden years and beyond. Mm. Here I am at my girlfriend's. She just recently moved into her condo. She has downsized. She loves plants. She's good with plants. You see all her plants. <laughs> And Regina, she keeps things. <laughs> she bought this, wow, maybe 1988 at Art Van in Lansing, Michigan. She had come to visit me, and we went out to Art Van, and she has reupholstered this piece, and she's going to have it reupholstered again. 
I'm doing a tour. <laughs> what it looks like at age 70 to relocate, reestablish yourself. Regina is a recent widow. Her husband passed. It'll be a year this month, February. This golden girl here, look at me. <laughs> you Do you remember those selfies like this? Well, I met my girlfriends. She just purchased, just recently purchased a new condo. I am her first guest. I'm sort of excited because um, this is the first time for me staying at family or friend since the onset of the pandemic other than my daughter's house. And this is what I love to do, is to uh, go visit family and friends, <laughs> spend some time with them. She was wondering if I would be comfortable. And I said, yes, look at this. It's nice and big and roomy. <laughs> Well, I hope you have enjoyed the interview with my friend, Regina. I'm so grateful that she indulged me <laughs> with this interview, um, that I am trying my hand as a creator on YouTube with a YouTube channel and that um, I am around um, looking for content for the channel. And the channel is focusing on traveling and aging. And one of the processes of aging is death. As we age, um, we will be faced with more and more people dying in our lives. Regina lost her husband in February 2021. It was February the 22nd, I do believe. And so she's been walking through the grief process. And I wanted to go down and see her. Um, I didn't attend the funeral because of the pandemic. I'm not doing funerals at this time. And this is my first time actually going and spending the night with someone other than at my daughter's house. So um, I, I'm very pleased with to see her progress in her walk, in her grief walk. This is the first of first this first year in her widow's journey. She has taken on the responsibility of a pet. That's a big endeavor at age 70. Um, but I can see Georgia is very good company for her. So I was a little hesitant at first that she was tying herself down like that. But I can see the comfort that Georgia is bringing her. She purchased a condo. She sold her house. She moved. So um, I remember us talking um, when James passed that she needed a couple months to get herself together, to get a plan in action. And I would say she has done a great job. Oh, and I forgot to mention, she came into her condo and got going on updates and repairs 
I admire Regina. She she's always with her properties. She firmly believes in updating and maintaining them. So I have seen her at work with her first house she bought. And then the second house she just sold. I saw her, you know, there. And her husband, James, was very, very handy. He could paint. I had him paint for me one time um, in Lansing and did an awesome job. And she could tell him what she wanted and he would do it. But now Regina knows how to go out and get a contractor and and get and get updates and get repairs done. So I am very pleased with my friend's progress through her walk, her grief walk. I had called her a couple weeks ago. I knew the anniversary was approaching. And, you know, she shared with me how she was doing. You know, there's tough times. But as you can see, she has a plan of action and she's walking out her grief recovery. She She's walking it out. And grief is many stages. And sometimes, you know, maybe you progress and you, and you might, you know, have a step backwards. But grief takes time. It's all about time. I tell you, Regina and I had a great time visiting. We talked about our hair. We both losing our hair in some spots. I asked her about glasses and the bifocal and the progressive lens. And she's encountered some of the difficulties that I'm having right now with my progressive. And um, I'm just going to get me a reading pair of glasses and let them be just bifocals. No, not the progressive anymore because I'm having a hard time taking and adjusting my glasses all up like this to try to, you know, get, get that bifocal line in the right spot. So we, we had a good time, um, discussing our aging progress and it was nice to have that conversation. It, it's nice to go and spend the night. It, it reminds me back when, you know, you were young and you would go over and spend the night with friends you have a little more time you know that you can just talk 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 <laughs> and uh that helps me to stay youthful you know um because so many times now it's so hard to have the time to you know to be able to have some conversation and it's nice to do it face to face you know so this is something I want to continue to do in my 70s is um, to have one-on-one -on -one time or face-to-face -face time or overnight stays with my friends. The pandemic, I'm telling you, has really worked a number on me because um, I, I go through and, you know, spend a night with my cousin in Nashville, go down to Pontiac and, you know, go through and visit family and friends, go to Lansing. Um, so I felt so good getting out of the house, my two days off, Monday and Tuesday. I drove to Southfield. I had to do an errand for my daughter. So... Thank you for listening. Thank you for coming in on the journey of my channel as I develop it. I'm, I'm trying to improve on my um, filming skill and editing. So um, I just had my phone there at Regina's. I stopped at Best Buy and got a tripod. So hopefully I'll have that the next time. I look forward to re interviewing Regina again after she's had some flute lessons, maybe she can give us a little concert, a little recital. <laughs> All right, well, you take care. Bye.